Hi everyone, today's session we are looking at how God makes us strong. So I've got a question for you. Who is the strongest person you know and why? Now we're gonna see who is the strongest person in your house. So I want not just you to do this or your siblings or anyone else that's in the house, I also want the adults to do this too. Okay, so I am gonna give you some tasks to do. And I wanna see which of you shows that you are the strongest. So the first one to do is who can do 10 star jumps the quickest. Three, two, one, go. The second task, I want you to do 10 press ups, okay? In three, two, one, go. I want to see who's got the strongest legs, okay? So I want you to run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in your house 10 times, okay? So who is the fastest? So in three, two, one, go. And lastly, I want to know who is the fastest in your house at doing bunny hop jumps. So that means getting your knees as high as you possibly can. So I want you to do 10 again. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah, I think you are. Okay, in three, two, one, go. When God is talking about strength, he isn't normally talking about our muscles. No, he's talking about the strength that's within our hearts. So we're going to look a little bit more at that today. So in the Bible, um, there is a book called Philippians. Uh, which is in the New Testament and it's written by a guy called Paul and it's a letter to the people in Philippians where he just wanted to give them some guidance, he wanted to give them some encouragement and this is one of the encouraging things that he says. So from Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 it says that I can do everything through Jesus who gives me strength. Now when we talk about strength, it's actually about the strength of our heart. Because there's always going to be times which are amazing, where everything is going funky doody dory, and we've got big smiles on our faces all the time. But there's also some times in which are going to be hard and gonna be difficult and we could be sad and confused. But what Paul is writing here is that through Jesus, we can get the strength to get through those difficult times and know that he is with us all the time. There's another guy in the Old Testament who is one of my favorite people in the Bible, who's called Joshua. Now this is what God says directly to Joshua in the book of Joshua, it is. Um, it says, be strong and very courageous. 
So even in the Old Testament, God's saying to be strong. And in the New Testament, he's saying to be strong. And in this passage, he says that he will be with Joshua every step of the way. And I want you to know that too. That you have the strength inside of you. Because if you have Jesus as your forever friend, he is the one that gives you the strength to continue during the good times, the bad times, and all the times in between. So in our prayer activity, what we're going to do is draw around our hands. And then once we've done that, we're gonna draw ourselves in the palm of the hands. And this is to remind us that we are in the palm of God's hands and those hands are safe hands so that during the good times and the bad times we know that he is looking after us and just loves us so 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 much and is with us every step of the way. So with our craft today, I was thinking, what do I think is the strongest animal that I know? And I could think of one, and that is a lion. Can you make the sound of a lion for me? Oh, that was so good. Do you think you can do it even louder? Go on, do it again. Yep, yeah, I think I can hear you from my house. Well done. So this craft is all about a lion and to remind you that you, with God, you have the strength to do anything. And we're gonna finish our session by praying all together. And um, what we do when we pray is just chat to God, okay? And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna chat to him. And sometimes we close our eyes. It's so that we don't get distracted by what's in the room or the people that are in the room. Okay, so that we can have our focus truly on God. And when I say amen at the end of a prayer, what does it mean? Yes, I agree. Well done. Okay, so if you agree with what I say, I want you to shout amen. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes so I don't get distracted by what's in the room. Okay. God, I thank you that through you, we have the strength to do anything. That we have the strength to continue during the good times and the bad times. 
and that we can always, always turn to you. And help us to remember that we are safe in your hands. Amen. It's been great being with you uh, today. I hope that you've had fun with the games, with learning about um, the Bible and doing your crafts and your prayer activities. Um, I would love to see some pictures of these, okay? So my details are at the end of the video and I would like your adult to send me a picture or a video of you doing your activities um, because it means then that we can show them on like the teddy bears picnic which would be really cool wouldn't it okay and um, this week coming we've got hobbies at home yes wonder what I'll be doing this week and then we have story time with Emily where there'll be an activity that you can do then and then we've got the teddy bears picnic on Friday at 12 o'clock so you need to obviously bring a teddy bear and a picnic okay um it has been great being with you hope you have an amazing day and I will see you very, very soon.